Queen's Indian Defense, Fianchetto, Nemzoitsk Variation, 5.QC2. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed Black in that one. Black had a good opening, but White was on another level. That was a well-fought middle game that White got the better of. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The move e6 creates a line for the dark squared bishop, sets up a rapid castle, and prepares to push a pawn to d5 and recover the piece if it is taken. Nf3 develops toward the center, putting pressure on the e5 square and adding another defender to the d4 pawn. The queen's Indian defense prepares to fianchetto the light squared bishop on b7, where it will have influence on the long diagonal. The light squared bishop is getting ready to be fianchetto on g2, where it will be positioned on the long diagonal. ba6 immediately attacks the undefended c4 pawn, hoping to provoke b2b3. QC2 develops the queen and protects the c4 pawn. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. This prevents a rival bishop's check. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is the last book move. This poses a threat to strike a knight. It is quite good. This strikes at the center, countering the opponent's ability to grab space. This threatens to kick a knight. It is best. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. This stops the opponent from being able to kick a knight. It is a great move. This ignores an opportunity to recapture a piece. It is an inaccuracy. Backs off. It is ideal. From a prior move, recaptures. That's good. The opposing knight is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This causes material loss. It is a mistake. This takes down a knight who is helpless. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is quite good. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This develops a piece while also winning a tempo on a knight. It is excellent. This shields the knight who was attacked. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. It is ideal. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is quite good. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This buys time by putting a rook in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This is how you take the pawn. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is quite good. A very strong play. It is excellent. This accomplishes this by posing a threat to a rook and compelling it to flee. It is quite good. A solid choice. It is excellent. When a rook retreats, this attack wins a tempo. It is quite good. This is how you attract a knight. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is quite good. That's fine. It is good. This defends an underdefended pawn that is inadequately attack. That's good. Right on target. It is best. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one.
Black had a good opening, but White was on another level. That was a well-fought middle game that White got the better of.